My name is Ralph L. Dickman III. I go by Skip Dickman. And I remember that my grandfather worked seven days a week. He was a workaholic. And he did work for Mr. Danaher back in 1917, 18. Then all of a sudden, uh, uh, the depression hit. And my grandfather, he kept the company going, he, he took over. The first eight, nine years he ran, I think he did quite well. I started with my dad in 1970, and I worked there for seven years, and we shut it down in 77 because we had problems with the labor situation. We were a union shop, but we were small compared to the big people, and we just couldn't keep passing the costs on, and we also didn't have a timber base. We had to buy open market logs, and you're at the mercy of going out and bidding on a timber sale. We used to specialize in heavy 40-foot cutting, so it was the last six, seven years that we ran down there, and we brought a lot of our timber in 40-foot long, and about 80% of our product went overseas. We exported it because it was a stronger market, and the return of the dollar was much better. You made money. Domestically, it wasn't as good. So we had three ways to get wood out of the mill. We were able to load on barges, able to load on rail car, and able to load on truck. See, with the overhead cranes, which was all the mills would run, you could stack lumber five, six stacks high. Basically, you needed three men to do that and an operator to run the crane. I remember I learned how to run the crane one time. It was an experience. The regular crane operators could load a truck in front maybe in 10, 15 minutes. I think the first truck out of it took an hour and a half. And my dad would say, come on, set the load down. I said, I don't want to set it down on top of you. Uh, so much of the work was done manually. Somewhere around 100 people in the mill and out in the yard. Could have been 125, it just depended on what all was going on. I think head rigs, what we kind of always called it. Our saw was a single cut saw. You know, it could cut the log one direction. Then it had a little sliver tooth on the back, but the head rig had to come back. Double cut, you can go bam, bam, bam. You can cut, it's going forward and backwards. It would smolder on the weekends because there wasn't anything going in. The mill only ran five days a week. We only ran one shift. A lot of mills run three shifts. You know, the one thing that people in Tacoma would remember is 745 every morning, uh, the Dickman whistle would blow. And that's how people knew the shift would start. Then at 430, the whistle blew for the end of the shift. So when my grandfather passed away in 1972, my dad decided, well, let's leave grandpa a tribute. And I said, what are we gonna do? He said, we're gonna blow the whistle for a minute. So I think we were down at the Harbor Lights outside and they blew the whistle for a whole minute. Isn't that something?